Okay, I'm going to do this because I didn't find this anywhere online. And it took me a million phone calls to figure out how to do this. I'm just not very good with electronics. And I picked up this cluster on eBay. I wanted to test the gas gauge, the main thing I really want. And so all I'm doing, this works for pretty much all the old gauges and stuff. These are the two terminals for the gauge. And just to show that the arm works, it took two batteries. These are, you know, regular AA batteries, 1.5 volts. So put them together, it's just the same way you would put them in something. Clip. You know, you're going to make a full circuit here, so. Damn it, of course, that wouldn't work that easily. So I'm going to clip one end here. I did this earlier, it worked really easily. Now, of course, it's a pain in the ass because I'm on film. So anyway, keep your eye on the gauge, putting both batteries together. And I'm gonna make the circuit there. And you can see the gauge responds a little slowly because of the mechanism inside, but it's warming up. And it should read about three quarters with the three volts that I'm giving it with these two AA batteries. So that's it. That's how you test a gauge. It's really easy. Uh, you can do this with aftermarket gauges too. I actually have some here handily. So I'm going to take off the clips. Let's say we want to test uh, oh, the oil temperature, this old Stuart Warner gauge. So hooking up the terminals there. Hooking up my power source. My two AA batteries. I'm just going to hold it in my hand. And you'll see the gauge move. Of course it's not the right voltage for it so it's going all over the place. But that's it. And for all, hopefully I helped somebody because I couldn't find this info anywhere, so cheers.